Briefly outline the difference between AC and DC motors and generators. All right, so uh, let's uh, have a bit of a think about them. AC obviously has to be alternating current, which means that the current will be going back and forth through the coil as it turns. In DC motors, uh, the, the current will always be flowing around in the same direction and we'll use a split ring commutator in order to make it continuously turn. So AC generators create an alternating current which changes directions with a certain frequency, right? We use slip rings so that no matter where it is in its cycle, we can carry the electricity from it. AC can be transformed to different voltages, very useful, especially for transmission, and it can provide uh, power to devices like AC motors. On the other hand, DC motors will produce a direct current. Uh, and this means it'll be in a single direction like a battery. Although it might bounce up and down a bit. The voltage of this form of electricity cannot be transformed because we need uh, a current that's varying back and forth in order to apply a transformer to it. It's mostly used in low power devices uh, and devices which uh, need DC power sources. So you can imagine things like uh, DC motors, for example, which use a split ring commutator uh, to make sure that even though it has a constant source of DC, it'll be able to spin continuously.